I know. Keep going. Good. Turn the radio on, back it up. Uh, 170 degrees. Yep. You're gonna be on the right side. The degree is gonna be about a 45 degree angle. Maybe a little less. One twenty eight receiving. Turn out the stakes.
<laughs> I'm just gonna drag you all the way. <laughs> no, we gotta stop. <laughs> yeah. There you go. The competition started off rough. We had really rough temperatures uh, and high winds when we got out here. It really tested the Marines. Without radio operators, commanders would be unable to command and control on the battlefield. Radio operators are crucial for any type of um, fire and maneuver. I think the Marines will walk away with a lot from this experience. Each one has told me that they've enjoyed this. Um, they don't typically get to completely focus on high frequency communication. So they were really excited to be out here. The second Marine Division high frequency competition brings a new aspect and highlight on high frequency communication in the near peer adversary fights that we'll face in the future. The Marine Corps is better benefited and not only the Marine Corps, but second Marine Division as a whole has benefited from this high frequency competition to better prepare operators for the future environment when we may have fights with electromagnetically contested battle spaces they will be able to still operate and command and control on the battlefield by getting it back to the basics using high frequency communication the purpose of the hf competition was for marines of units throughout the second marine division to come out with their radio operators and um, fine-tune their skills as radio operators with high frequency training to improve their skills, hone in their skills, and bring back something to their units to better improve their communication skills. I think the training has gone absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we started off actually very slow. Uh, it was really hard for the Marines to get out here after flying across the country and get fine-tuned comm shots back to Camp Lejeune. So we were having a little bit of troubles, but over the last two days, the Marines have extremely worked extremely hard to fine tune their information, their tactics, and the things that they, their knowledge that they understand to fine tune in their comms and actually have gotten to the point where now they're all making their shots and we're having no issues whatsoever. So I personally believe there's been a lot of, a lot of knowledge that has, that has been brought to the table out here and the Marines are doing phenomenal. I believe the competition improves the tactical proficiency of each unit by bringing these Marines out here and forcing them to do, to do tactical communications where they're literally taking items that are not standard in communications and for instance running slash wire using cobra heads that you buy from stores out in town and such nature using the tops of trees to go out there make antennas to be able to shoot back using high frequency um, comms back to Camp Lejeune, I think it impacts the tactical world to allow us, no matter where we are, any climb or place, to be able to fight our fight as communicators. I believe radio operators bring everything to the fight in the Marine Corps. You can't do anything without communication, and that's just a fact. But it brings the node of command and control for every commander, commander of their units to be able to basically do just that, command and control their unit to be the most proficient unit there is in the division. I think every Marine here is leaving with a, a more broad and deeper knowledge base of what high frequency communications is and how they can take what they've learned out here, working together, helping one another, learning their failures, improving on their failures, and just the, the all around nature of what they have learned out here, take it back to their units and be better communicators to better serve the 2nd Marine Division. So I believe walking around, being with these Marines in the in the conditions we've been in all week, when it's been anywhere from 23 degrees with a 20 mile an hour wind to 40 degrees with a 30 mile an hour wind, making these Marines become physically and mentally exhausted doing events like we're doing right now in the final, uh, final exercise has been really challenging on the Marines. But I think walking around, actually being involved with the Marines, 
getting on the ground, doing the push-ups, doing the squats, doing the things that us staff and COs and officers that are out here with them, training with them, I think the morale is extremely high. I think the Marines are motivated and they are just absolutely killing this whole entire evolution.